<sighs> what is up great people back again with another video is no sana as some of you guys already know in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to calculate the reactions um when it comes to beam designing as you've already seen by the thumbnail this is bsc and five and if you're new to my channel please get to like comment share and subscribe if you have any requests please make the play uh, make the comment section your zone and i will be replying to you guys or if you have a request for uh if you need uh tutoring then uh, you can dm me on whatsapp my whatsapp link is in my description all right so without wasting much of the time in the previous video uh i also did other questions on calculating the reactions because this question is very important when it comes to beam designing right so i'm not gonna do much talking in this one i'm just gonna get straight to the point and also uh, i'm not going to sketch uh, this you know i'm not going to re-sketch it uh we are going to see it uh as it is right so what you can just do is uh take a picture of the video or i mean you can just pause and then zoom into the picture and try to attempt the question and then uh continue with the video uh to see if you have any areas to improve right that's the best way to learn okay so let me just zoom out now let me just zoom out in the previous videos guys i already discussed about the hudls you know about the bows notation you know and everything that you need to know right there is not stone that i left unturned and that's why i'm also asking you guys that you interact in the comment section you know if you are improving if you are learning things then don't uh, be scared to get in touch just comment okay so straight to the uh, straight to business uh like i've already said that i prefer starting with the reaction on the left hand side so we'll say uh moments right we just say moments moments at right our uh, reaction l right so we're going to stand on reaction l and look across to the right hand side we can see that there's the right re there's the right reaction but we need to see how is it moving is it moving in the anti-clockwise direction or is it moving in the clockwise direction and right? when it's going up as you can see guys it's moving in the clockwise direction so what we'll see we'll just start over here and saying uh sum of the uh clockwise moments right no actually it's going in the anti-clockwise uh if you're standing here and you look at rr you can see rr is going up and it's the anti-clockwise direction so you can say sum of anti-clockwise moments that's what you're going to start with right you're going to start with uh the sum so you're going to say sum of anti-clockwise moments is equal to the sum of the uh clockwise moments as you can see there and then we're going to start with our rr since it's going in the anti-clockwise direction so we'll say rr Right, R, R. and we need, we need to multiply guys by the distance that it is uh, away right from rl you can see that it is four meters apart from rl so we're going to say times four okay and find out now any other force that is going in the anti-clockwise direction it's only rr by the way i can see it all these other forces are going downwards all right this one is going up right uh, guys if you want to see where this question came from it came from um december 2015 and it's question three okay 2015 right so uh that's the only force that is going in the anti-clockwise direction there's no other force so we're just gonna say is equal to now we need to find the forces that are going in the clockwise direction but guys i am going to start with the uh with the forces i'm not gonna do the udls just yet I'm just going to do the normal forces okay if i'm sitting on rl i look at this uh five kilonewtons i can see that it's acting down so it's acting in the clockwise direction okay it's acting in the clockwise direction so i'll say it is equal to five right times the distance that it is apart from r uh the distance that the five kilonewtons is sorry the distance that the five kilonewtons is apart or apart from from rl you will notice that it is what you have to do is to say four right since you have four meters from here from start up until finish right okay let me just zoom in now i feel like uh it's necessary for me to zoom in so that you can just see right uh, it's necessary for me to zoom in so that you guys can see let me just do that fast fast okay uh this is what we have going on right maybe i should have just uh you know uh sketched this thing okay so see what we have going on we are looking for the distance that we are looking for the distance that this five kilonewtons which is this one here 
from this point it's acting over here right so we need the distance from rl up until where it starts okay but guys what do they what do we know we know that from over here right we know that from here up until this point we know guys that it is four meters we can see from the top there if it is four meters that means and also that means that this part here is two meters okay this part is two meters that's what it means it means that that part this part here is two meters i don't know why they write these things here right it's two meters because two plus two would give us the four as you guys can see so if this is two meters this is two meters and they say that this wall side is four meters okay if this wall side so now let me just erase this okay if this wall side is four meters guys that means that uh this part here if you're going to divide it right uh we said over here like this ne? like we said this is two meters so that means this side over here is also two meters so if this side is two meters guys that means that this is one meter and this is one meter right as they have indicated that it is one meter over there right uh just take your time to go through what i just said over here okay just take your time and uh make sure that you understand before moving on okay just make sure that uh, you understand before moving on Okay, uh, now let me do this. Right, so let's continue. Now, what we need to do is um, we need to find out the distance that the 5 meters is acting away. As you can see, guys, we already saw that it was 2 meters. So you say 5 times 2. Right, this one doesn't have the UDL because it's just a force that is acting downwards. Okay, now we need to find out another force that is acting uh, in the anti-clockwise, in the clockwise direction, sorry, if we're standing on RR. Right, if we, we're done with the five, we're done with the five. Now we need to go to the, we need to go to the seven kilonewtons. Right, I know it, it looks like everything is everywhere. Okay, uh, I'm not going to use the other thing, uh, the other numbers there. So I'm going to say four, right, four times, not two, why am I saying two? Okay, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say two times, again, I am saying two. I'm supposed to be saying 7. Sorry about that, guys. I'm supposed to say 7 times, right? 7. Okay, perfect. 7 times the distance that is acting from RL. 7 times the distance that is acting from RL. When you can see it, this is 4 meters, right? And then this part here is 2 meters. So it's just going to be 7 times 6, okay? 7 times 6. And is there any other force that is acting in the clockwise direction? Yes, there is the UDL of the 5 kilonewtons, okay? There's a UDL of the 5 kilonewtons, so we need to involve that there. It's how many kilo, how many newtons? It's 5. How long? What is the length of that of that uh, 5 kilonewton bar? Okay, you need to find out what the length is. If they told you that from here is, to here is 4, that means it's 5 plus that other one. So it's going to be 5 times 5. Right times now you need to come from R R R L up until so you're gonna take R L right the distance from R L to where that beam is starting which is one meters and add half of that the length of that beam so you're gonna say one plus half of five which is three comma which is two comma five so two comma five plus that one you're gonna get three comma five you're gonna get three comma five right is there any other force that is acting uh, downwards right is any other force that is acting in the anti-clockwise direction no there is no other force so now we can just say r r right we can say r r okay r r times four okay you can just say r r is equal to mm -hmm. and find out what you have on the right hand side okay find out what you have on the right hand side just punch that in the calculator fast and then you'll find out that you have 130 you have 139 right you have 139 comma five and then you have to divide that by the 4, right? You divide that by 4, and guys, you, your RR will be equal to, your RR will now be equal to 34, right? It now be, okay, sorry about this. Your RR will be equal to 34.875, 34.875 kilonewtons. So this is your RR. Now, we need to do the same for what? For RL. Okay, shouldn't be hard. I'm just going to write it over here. Okay, let me just say moments. So now we have to say moments at 
R R because now we're finding R L. Okay. So guys, uh it's helpful for you to sketch this graph all over again because by the way it is, you can't really tell what's happening. So uh you can just from the beginning, just pause the video, uh draw the diagram. It takes very few minutes, even even two or less. Right, to just sketch everything so that we can work together and look and see what I'm doing. So we are now doing RR, okay? We are now standing on RR. So we're going to put our finger on RR and see what is happening. Let me just erase this. Okay. Okay, that is two. Sorry. I didn't mean to erase the two, the number, the measurements there. Okay. Okay, I think that would work. So guys, what we're going to do now, we are going to stand on RR. Now put our finger on RR and work the other side. We're going to stand on RR and look on the other side. We can see that from RR to there, we have RL. Is RL moving in the anti-clockwise or clockwise? It's moving in the clockwise direction. So we're going to say sum of clockwise moments is equal to the sum of anti-clockwise moments, like that, guys. And now, anti-clockwise moments, I forgot the W. Uh, sum of the anti clockwise moments like that so now let's find out all the clockwise moments from rr you can see that rl is going in the clockwise moment it's going in the clockwise direction so you're going to say r uh, rl sorry and say rl times able right you're going to say rl rl times times what now guys you need to find the length the distance from rr to rl right it's going to be two plus two right you have to zoom in or just sketch it properly so it's going to be two plus two which would be four right and now let's find any other force that is going in the clockwise direction i can see this these ones here are going down so they are going anti-clockwise but if you come this side now by the seven you can see that the seven is going down which is anti clock which is clockwise if you're standing on r r so you're going to say plus right so guys we're going to say plus seven Okay, we're going to say plus 7 times the distance that 7 is away from RR, which is 2, right? Plus the UDL now of the 5 kilonewton bar. So we're going to say times 5 plus 5 times now the length of that part, which is 2. I mean, from RR to the end of that bar is 2, right? Now, we don't have to add the distance of the UDL. We're just going to say um, 2 divided by 1. I mean, 2 divided by... Uh, you just need half of two basically right and then what we get half of two is going to be one like this so this is the clockwise moments now we need to find the anti-clockwise moments guys i thought i erased this to make it anti-clockwise moments anti-clockwise moments right yeah man now I, I i did this and i forgot to correct it so now we need to find out all the anti-clockwise moments, okay? What we'll just do, we will stand again on RR and find out every force that is going this direction, right? So on RR, you'll have to find all the forces that are acting downwards. I'm going to start with the 5 kilonewtons because it's acting down, it's going down, uh, down right? So we're going to see uh, plus, I mean, 5 times the distance that it is from RR. Guys, we calculated this distance and we found out that it was 2, right? We found out that it was 2 meters right but that is not all we need to find another now the udl actually the udl of the five which is going to be five times right five times what five times its length what is its length guys its length is two plus one is three right and we need to multiply it with half of three right which is one comma five okay one comma five like that and we can just find out what we have on the on the right hand side so i'm going to say rl times 4 is equal to let's find out what we have on the right hand side uh, on the right hand side guys if you punch it on the calculator uh, you are going to get 32 right you're going to get 32 comma 5 and then on the left hand side what you will get over here is 24 so you have to take it to the right hand side and it'll be minus 24 like that and now you need to find out what is your rl therefore guys you can just say rl rl is equal to uh what you will get here and you can just divide both sides by 4k so let me just say 32,5 minus 24 right and then if you divide that by 4 guys your rl right rl guys is going to be 2,15 actually no 
five kilonewtons okay thank you guys for watching if you've learned something in this video or if you have any requests to make please don't be shy uh to let me know in the comment section uh until we meet again guys in the next videos cheers